My name's Larry with Under the Bridge Flies, and I'm going to tie up this little, uh, it'd be bass, steelhead, trout. Um, it's uh, using a wool head, and you can tie it in a bass pattern and make it into a popper or um, use this pattern. Uh, you can articulate it if you want to, but it's a pretty neat little pattern, doesn't take a lot of time to do. so. Um, we have, uh, I'm using 8 olive. We're going to tie this one in olive one. I've done a couple already today. So, um, and I'm using a Mustad 1-0. And this is a 3407DT. It's a saltwater hook. And we're going to start off with some uh, Spay Blood Marabou. Once we uh, start our thread, we just wrap it back. And get it to the back air, snip off our tag. So this is a fairly easy pattern to tie. So um, the hard part is getting used to the trimming, <laughs> I guess, of the wool head once you're done. But um, it's not too awful bad once you get the hang of it. So I'm making the tail and I'm used, making the tail and I'm going to make it just so about the same length as the hook. And when we wrap that up, I'm just going to wrap around it a couple times just to hold everything in place. And then I'm going to trim this out. You see I'm holding it straight up and trimming it at an angle. So it trims at an angle there, and that way when I tighten all this down, it'll make a nice smooth transition to the hook there. And we'll just wrap our thread back. All right, so if you want to uh, put a little flash in the tail, which I'm going to do, I'm just using some crystal flash, and this is a rainbow greenish. Yeah, it's kind of a greenish rainbow, I guess. Crystal flash in this thing. Um, you can make these pretty much whatever colors you want to. I've already done some chartreuse and some purple. And um, like I said, these would be great steelhead patterns. And now is the time to be tying some steelhead flies for sure. Um, steels are starting to run, so um, browns. Um, you can tie some really nice brown patterns with this too. Like I said, articulate it if you want to. Make you a longer um, streamer pattern out of this. But um, if you're going to do that and make it for browns, um, stuff like that, I suggest lead weight in your hooks because they're not going to have a lot of weight on these. So, All right, so the next thing that we're using is... We're going to use some uh, Grizzly Marabou, and this is olive, hairline product, of course, um, I like hairline, so <laughs> I use quite a bit of it. Um, what we're going to do is uh, some uh, Grizzly Soft Tackle, and you want to get you a nice wide, you know, just pull all these out of the bag, and we're going to get a pretty decent wide feather out of here so um, we can pull it back from the front and we're actually going to tie these in from the front when you do that um, just hold the feather and just kind of hold it at an angle so when you tie it back you're already getting it ready to go forward again and you can just wrap all that forward and bring your thread back a little bit because you need to catch that and then just pull those back as you wrap this hackle, this uh, Grizzly Soft Hackle, um, I got a grizzly, couple of Grizzly Soft Hackle uh, videos, I believe, already on here for the um, one with the regular eyes in it. And this is about the same pattern. It's just, uh, we're just using a different head on it and making it more versatile for uh, different types of fishing. Like I said, this would be a great bass fly. Um, if you're going to do some bass fishing, um, you can square the head off pretty good. So you can, you know, even make it into a popper kind of pattern. So 
when you're pulling that thing through and like I said without the weight this thing's going to set pretty high in the water you know once you get it up high in the water just uh, bring it along pop it along the edge and poof so we just bring it back and trim out the extra there and you can see that little stem sticking up there you want to make sure you get that trim down some and so we're just going to uh, fold that back and you can wind back more and it'll push that back more but you really don't need to once you wet your fingers see there I'm wet my fingers that's what that fly is actually going to do when it hits the water there so I said this is going to be a good pattern for multiple flies so once you get that one in you're just going to do that yet again and just tie that in up behind that one and this time you just want to snip off the tag in because you don't want to go all the way up to the front of your eye with these you want to keep that area there clear for your um, wool or whatever um, craft fur um, you can use EP fiber if you want to I mean whatever you have and whatever you're used to using I'm doing I got a uh, sculpt and wool I have actually all of them but so now the next thing we're going to do once we get that up a little ways and we're going to uh, tie in some legs on this and I'm going to use a olive or green color for my legs so um, whatever collected it again it goes back to whatever color you're tying you know I'm just going to use a olive silly legs and I'll just grab one off of there real quick and you can put as many legs on here as you want and wrap that around your thread just like so and bring it down and once you tighten it down just uh, keep a hold of your thread and you can just wrap that forward and that's done so we're going to do the same thing to the other side and like I say if you like a lot of legs on your flies then you know double this up or triple it up whatever you want to do but um, just grab a hold of that wrap it around the thread and bring it up close to your thread up to your fly there and you can position that wherever you want to on your fly at that time you can move this leg around still you know so and just fold that front end over and tie it in And then you can trim these off right now if you want to. I just go to the back of the fly and snip off all four at once. So, and then your leg part is over there. All right, so uh, we're going to go ahead and move forward with another uh, feather. And same thing, just to grab you another uh, soft tackle. Tie it in there. Bring it back. Snip off that front because you don't need that on there no more. And it's real simple. Like I said, if your uh, feathers start pointing forward, just uh, pull them all back before you make your turn there. And you can just fold all these back. And we're just going to kind of stack this because we want to keep that front right there. So um, you want to stay. He's, um, I'm gonna, you know, make sure you give yourself plenty of room for your head on these flies. Um, it's fairly easy to tie, and um, you don't have to worry about the eye too much. Um, you can really move this around quite a bit. So get all these feathers out of the way of that eye. And, excuse me. It's in the early morning. <laughs> All right, so once you get all that in there, now we're going to put our... When I'm using this sculpting wool, like I said, and I'm using the olive here, so uh, you got this uh, big old thing, a sculpting wool here. Um, it might come out in chunks such as this, and you don't want that much anyway, so what we're going to do is pull that apart, and this is about the size of the chunk that you need right here um, if 
if you have a, uh, I got a Bic lighter here, so <laughs> what is that's a regular size Bic lighter there, so you can kind of see, hopefully, um, this camera's picking that up to where you can see how wide that actually is, kind of give you an idea. Um, it's not quite as wide as my small finger there, so, and you're going to cut this off, I mean, about the shank of the hook, um, you're going to just cut your four of those real quick, about that size. off of there and so that's so you're going to come out with four of these uh, little things you're going to set one on top center and then just make a couple of good wraps around it put one on the bottom then the same thing loose wrap maybe and then just kind of tighten it up you don't want to wrap this a bunch don't Try to tighten it down too much because uh, you're going to tighten it down as you go. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other two sides. Just a couple wraps around each one just to hold it in place. And uh, I seem to have lost one of mine here. So let's grab this back and put another one. I have to cut me another one off. One of them kind of disappeared. <laughs> it's a magic fly so once we get that in there then once you get all four in place kind of just uh, wiggle your thread you know when you're doing this you can wax your thread and then what you're going to do is you want to come up through one of the holes that's making your four and then just go ahead and push all this back behind it and real simple we're just going to tie up in front of this and just kind of pull those, you know, back and I'm just going to tie this off real good actually so that we're pulling on these as we go because we want to stretch these out. We really want to get these things pulled out of the way, um, spread out to where when we cut all this off, you're going to have a nice head here. So hopefully... This camera's picking all this up. All right, so you can hold that back and go ahead and whip finish and, you know, throw three or four or five around there. And then we're going to do it twice. I do all my flies, whip finish them twice. So this makes a better fly. You don't have to do that. Slip that thread off. All right, so you got your thread out of the way. Um, the rest of it is pretty much just... Uh, now we're just going to trim it you know you can spread these out a little bit if you want to um, when you grab a hold of these um, just give it a snip you know just we're just getting rid of the big long long stuff off um, don't go past your body see the body there so we're not going to snip it anywhere past the body we're going to pull it tight that's going to you know pull back down into the body there um, once you turn it over like I said don't worry about it just uh, give it throw and you see how that's starting to poof a lot better now and it's starting to give us an idea of where we want to be at and so now it's just uh, go through and a little bit at a time Ouch. without hooking your finger like I just did <laughs> that sucked <laughs> and we want to get that away from the eye of the hook so yeah, I would just, uh, I just cross cut that up and we're just going to kind of taper it back to the fly itself. And you can push on this stuff, you know, to see how I'm pushing that out a little bit. And it'll spring. God darn it, I did it again. <laughs> I got my magnifying glass here, so um, I'm trying to see through it while I do this. Otherwise, this would turn into a real big disaster, I'm sure. So it's kind of in the way <laughs> but now i got two good holes in my finger so um but you see how that's turning out now i mean you can and like i said you can really square this because you know once this thing gets wet and everything it's gonna you know square off a little bit if you don't want that much of a taper to it but you can really square this head off and that way 
when it does get getting wet, what's going to happen is when you bring that fly up and, you know, just give it a little jerk, it should pop right off the top of that water for you. So that should attract some fish. And we're just going to do a little bit of, you can trim these things <laughs> probably for hours if you want to, but we don't have that kind of time here. So every minute this thing goes, the more hours it takes for the doggone thing to upload. So anyway, that's, you know, that's pretty much the fly right there. Now we'll put some eyes in it. I'll super glue some eyes on each side. Uh, you got stick on eyes, um, witch eyes, whatever you want to put on there, doll eyes. I mean, it's, you got, there's just tons of different eyes on this thing. And I believe I got some, you know, I got some gold reflect eyes here. So I'm going to give those a shot on this one and see if I can peel one of those off real quick here. And I will glue it on, of course. We're just going to put one on right here real quick just to give you an idea of, hopefully you can see that. Of course, that ain't going to stay on by itself by no means. But anyway, that's it. That's uh, the little guy right there. Um, like I said, you can make these articulated. A um, lot of things you can do with this fly, but um, the trimming, you know, just stay above your body when you're pulling that down. And as it snaps down, you can see how it makes it nice. And then you can just taper it and do a little trimming there, here, and there. And you got you a nice looking fly. Now, this thing here will, uh, this thing will catch some trout, it'll catch bass, um, you know, a couple steelhead like olive, it'll catch them too. So, anyway, that is uh, my little wall head and these are just little uh poppers i call them you know because the poppers you <laughs> like the appetizers <laughs> so you might uh, come across a fish that's not real hungry but he likes it so he's going to pop it <laughs> hopefully anyway um i'm larry with under the bridge flies check out my uh, page on facebook uh if you like some of these or if you want me to tie a fly that uh you've been uh, wanting to tie and just can't get it right Give me a holler and uh, we'll throw a video up for you and hopefully it'll help you out a little bit. Anyway, hope you all have a great day. I enjoyed doing the videos. Hope you continue watching them. Thanks.